Hello everybody. <laughs> wow bird. <laughs> we are about to go for a walk. I'm sure you can tell that's what's happening. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty your little nut job. She's crazy. Let's show you guys. We got a tree. We got a tree. Now the reason it's in the garden is because Henry's at work. And we wanted to decorate the um, tree together with Levy, obviously. Lev's just woken up from a nap. Um, but I was talking in my live stream about renting a tree. This is not a rented tree. In the end, I had the idea to get a tree and to keep it. So it's a live one. Um, and it was grown in a pot so that you can keep it in a pot. Or I guess you can repot it into your garden. Come on, let's not do that. Let's not do that. And my idea was to let the tree grow with Levy. So every year we'll bring this same tree in. We're going to get a nice big pot for it. And then let it grow with Levy. I thought that was kind of cool. And then he can have the same Christmas tree, well, for a few years. They say they grow like a foot a year. I don't think we'll have like a 20 foot Christmas tree, but maybe by that stage we'll be able to plant it in our garden. My garden needs work. It looks horrendous. Here's our Christmas tree from last year, you guys, which definitely has not grown a whole foot this year. <laughs> it's still very, very tiny. Um, but this one is one of those, what is it called? Nordman firs. So it's very soft to touch, which I thought was important because of Levy. That one there, I think is a spruce and it's very, very prickly. So yeah, when Henry's off work, we're gonna get a pot for that tree and obviously decorate it. And yeah, it's starting to feel a bit more Christmassy at least now. I, I can't wait. And I want my Christmas tree this year to be silver and red. So let's see. Pretty sure those might be the candles I had last year as well. I can't remember. So yay, I'm so excited. You guys, this morning when I came downstairs, um, by the way, <laughs> I came down after six o'clock this morning. Woo so the sleep training, as difficult as it has been, is definitely working. Um, anyway, when I came down this morning, Bodhi had, this is going to be disgusting, so I'm just warning you in advance, had bile puked all down the side of her bed there underneath her blankets and it was like pulled on the floor and um, so I scrubbed her bed and I used anti-back stuff disinfected it all of that you guys it reeks Henry can't smell it as much as I can but I have like very very strong sense of smell and every time I walk into this kitchen I feel like throwing up so I'm thinking I might try and spray some um, apple cider vinegar and water on it to see if that'll neutralize the smell. But if you guys have any experience with this and have any tips or tricks that you have for me, please comment below because, oh, I can't stand the smell. And every time she does it, I threaten I'm going to throw this bed away because it just drives my poor nostrils nuts. But she does love her stinky bed. And I have to be really careful because... Whatever I put on her bed can't be so overpowering that she then wants to mark over it. Which is why I'm thinking the apple cider vinegar might work. I'm moving my fingers for some reason as we, I'm talking and that's what Birdie is like super focused on. She's like, are there treats in those fingers? Right, Levy has just gone down for a nap. I've got less than an hour. <laughs> and um, whew, I'm going to chill so hard for the next hour, you guys. We went for a walk, as you know, then I had to go to the post office, then I took Levy to the park, then we came home, then we played. Oh my goodness, it's just been go, 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 the whole morning. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to just putting my feet up and chilling for a bit. Oh bird. Oh bird. So I scrubbed her bed some more and put some fresh blankets on. And... Um, <laughs> As you saw, she's lying under the blankets and putting her head under the blankets to where the smell was. So, do you think that helps her sleep? Is it like 
catnip for bulldogs. <laughs> oh my goodness. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. I hope you all have a great day and um, hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. Bye, everyone. But I say bye. Oh, you angry bird. Little angry bird. Did I disrupt your stink smelling session? Oh my goodness. Now I'm so close to it, I can smell it again. You guys. Bleh. All right. Bye. Bye, you guys. Have a good one.